going on our first hike today. Hopefully it's not too rainy, muddy, and shitty, but we'll have fun either way. We just parked. I feel like we got the last good parking spot at the Waihee Ridge Trail. Um, the overflow parking lot was like a mile down the road, the very steep road. So we weren't gonna do that. And we're just out here for a hike. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. It looks pretty nice so far, so. The Wahe'e Ridge Trail is known as one of the best hikes in Maui, and since it's located only 10 minutes from our house, it made sense that this should probably be our first hike here on the island. The trek begins right on the eastern border of the West Maui Forest Reserve, where a little parking lot sits at the bottom of the trailhead. From here, we hiked up a concrete road for about 100 yards until we got to the actual trail. It's worth mentioning that this hike is steep, and you feel it immediately. So we made our way from the open pastures into the small stand of forest. We were pretty intrigued by the strange looking trees. They seem super out of place on a tropical island. They must be some kind of forestry experiment, I'm guessing. Once we were under the canopy, it got pretty muddy and humid quick. Luckily, we wore our hiking boots because we would have been ankle deep in mud otherwise. When we were about a mile in, we got up and out of the tree line and made it to the ridge where the first viewpoint is. This is the first real glimpse you get of the mountains, waterfalls, and valleys, and it's sick. From up here, you can see a bunch of waterfalls pouring off the mountains and into the valley floor below, where the winding river eats them up and spits them into the Pacific Ocean just a few miles away. Everything is lush and green as far as the eye can see. Overhead, the clouds swirl around and over the mountains, opening and closing perfect pockets of sunlight into the valley below. I could chill on a ridge like this all day, climbing around, taking photos, but since the weather is never really a guarantee up here, we decided to keep pushing up the hill. The trail begins switchbacking up the mountain after this midpoint, and you can really feel the 800 foot per mile elevation gain. It's basically straight up from here with no more mellow flat sections. So, I don't actually know how long this trail is. I'm hoping it's four miles total and not four miles up and four miles down. So while we weren't sure about the total distance, the path itself is super well marked and easy to navigate, so you would really have to try to get lost up here. That said, I did bring my survival kit anyways because I'm crazy and I never go outdoors without one. I've watched too many survival shows where people get lost going on a quick, easy hike, so I always like to be prepared with a fire starter, knife, water filter, emergency blankets, rope, and a flashlight. I also want to point out that if you're from a cold climate like we are, you're going to sweat your ass off in the heat and probably get burnt, so bring some sunscreen. What's rad is that it does begin to get a bit colder as you get up higher on the trail, and that helps you not get so cooked from the sun on the exposed side of the mountain. So we made our way up onto the final plateau, we began to see the end of the hike where there's a small wooden platform built mm -hmm. for folks to kick it, eat lunch, and soak in the glorious views. We pulled up on the random assortment of hikers and carved out a spot to snack and shoot the shit. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. Yeah, I made it and I have my treat. <laughs> Everybody should have a treat. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drink it or we're pouring it out. What's up here? Apple chips. Four wheel driving through the desert and then they're communing with the crystals and their gods and we're getting our chakras all aligned. And... <laughs> it's an interesting uh, population that yeah. lives out there. Yeah. But it's an amazing place. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. How long are you here for? Six days. Then I went to several days and now it looks like my baby is <laughs> so uh, I like it. Okay. Yeah. For sure. For sure. No better way. For sure. No better way. So where did you buy your house? You rented it? It's a long ass story. <laughs> but uh, I put up a thing on Craigslist like before we left and it said like I build like decks and fences and somebody responded and I just talked back and forth and they're from Canada. They own a property here and it needs like tons and tons of work and so they're and they like have a couple units can, on it so we have a little studio apartment. Yeah they say we can come and stay there if we 
I built I build a deck for them on their yoga hut, and she's a yoga teacher, so it makes a lot of sense. Hey, like, oh wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the parks are free. These two ladies told us that while the government's shut down, you can go to Haleakala for free right now. Is that the one where they're popular for wow. those sunrise and sunsets? Yes, Haleakala, the crater. It's Over there. Oh, that one. It's in the clouds, basically. So just the high, and that, and it's really cold up there. So like, bring your blanket and all your clothes. I heard that, but um, so you don't need to schedule because I tried to see that you need to schedule for the sunrise. I think it's. They said it's free right now. So I don't know how long that lasts. Until the government isn't shut down anymore. We haven't been paying attention to the news, but yeah. apparently. We're on the the street. government is still <laughs> shut down, and so when the government is shut down, yeah. the parks are free. I well, I don't mind. Yes, yeah. yeah. for sure. We should go. There, to there be. you go. There yeah. you go. For sure. And that was my yeah. number one thing. <sighs> so, what do you guys plan for? Anything else? Uh, we'll go to Hana at some point. Well, you have time. Yeah. We're going to do everything just slower. We'll do like a couple things a week so that we're not like too crazy. And we like to she likes to go to yoga. Yeah, sure. I like to go to the gym, go to the gym. and go to yoga. And... I'll probably work like a day or two a week or something. We edit like photos and stuff. So it's probably really, really windy. I don't know if you can hear it all, but anyways, we made it to the top. It was really, really pretty. Met a interesting lady from Sweden. Talked to her for a while. Met some people from New Zealand. Now we're headed back down taking some photos along the way. Maui's pretty sick. The lights, like, as the clouds move, it's like the light. It's crazy. You should look at it. On the way back down, we stopped again at the initial viewing platform and tripped on how rad it all is. We watched the sunlight dance through the valley again and attempted to capture the magic with our cameras as best we could. I really do love hiking. I love the smells and the sounds. I love the physical grind and the mental battle of putting one foot in front of the other over and over and over for no real reason other than just being outside. Hiking here in Maui, there is a different climate, a whole new flora and a totally unique terrain than what I'm used to back home in the Northwest. Despite all those differences, it still feels remarkably similar just being out in nature. It's a feeling of being at ease, at peace, at home, as corny as that sounds. We made it to the end of our hike. We can see the parking lot. Uh, I'm really glad we came out here. It was a beautiful day. Bye. All right, that's it. Thanks for coming along on another episode. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment, subscribe, and share that shit with somebody. Also, if you want to support what we're doing, go over to patreon.com slash the detourist guide and you can donate to us. You can do it on a monthly basis or per episode. That makes it so we don't have to work as much and we can spend more time making fucking cool videos. Anyways, that's all I got. Thanks for all the support, you guys. See you next week. Later.